Hey guys, how's it going? So this video is really from the top of my head because I was just thinking about it and like, ah, yeah, I have to make it because I haven't really seen people talk about that. Um, so <laughs> have you ever seen the TV show Naked and Afraid? Well, the concept of that TV show is basically putting two people, whether it's two uh, women or two men, or usually it's a woman and a man, naked in the middle of a jungle, a savanna, or in Alaska. And basically they have no clothes, no food, no shoes, and they're allowed only two items. So maybe like a knife and a pot, or a knife and a fire starter. And, um, so I watch pretty much every single episode and every single season and um, I realize it's not realistic. Okay, you're wondering like, is it fake? Is it because there's like behind the scenes something? No, no, it's the actual concept itself that's not realistic. The concept of being naked in the nature without anything at all. Okay, where am I going with that? What are the chances that in a survival situation, you'll end up totally naked? Not even like a panty or bra or boxer shorts or socks. Unless someone is deliberately like taking you out and trying to torture you or has buried you naked or something like that. And I know I'm grim. <laughs> um, by the way, I broke my tooth again. <laughs> Uh, I look stupid, eh? Um, it's actually a, a tooth extension that keeps popping up because I'm addicted to eating chicken wings and I really love chicken wings and the bone and the cartilage and every time. Okay, so basically, let's go back to the naked people. If, if we go back in history, okay, our ancestors would, would be a lot furrier than us, okay? Like way at the beginning when we were like, little hairy monkeys okay so yes we had coverage you know um, but then if you think a little further in history when we lost the furriness um, well at that point we we're already hunting animals and using their skins for clothing and shoes so at no point in history were we were naturally naked we were either furry or we were wearing clothing made out of uh, starting with fur and then with like maybe cotton or something like that. We always had something to cover our bare skin that's not very adaptable unless we were in the islands and we only needed a little uh, thing for a Tootsie Roll, you know? But in no way we were like completely naked, you know? It just depends on the temperature of what we can find to clothe ourselves. And if we bring it to this point now in history, there's so much, you know, scraps that just float into the ocean that even if we're on a deserted island, I guarantee you, because I was on a deserted island for like a week when I was in Turks and Caicos and it's a bunch of little islands with our pollution and everything, there's so much scrap, um, plastic and clothes and even sh shoes on the beach. There's no way you're going to be completely naked and no shoes. And onto the shoe thing, okay? That too, I thought through it. I had a lot of time to think about it when watching the show. I'm like, hmm. So we're there without shoes, but we're humans that are used to wearing shoes, okay? So it would be deliberately someone leaving us naked and shoeless. Because in reality, if we were to live shoeless the sole of our feet would be a lot thicker and harder than when we walk on little rocks, when going like, oh, 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 you know? It, it would be like, oh, okay, I'm just walking. It, like the sole of our shoe, the sole of our feet would be like the sole of a shoe. It gets leather, it gets thick. So that's, that's another thing that makes no sense. Like our feet would not be like completely like, so sensitive, I'd say, you know, like when I spend my summers out in a country house, I don't wear shoes. And let me tell you, I need a pedicure after this because it gets, it strengthens because you're walking with your real feet. Um, so the, the shoeless part makes no sense also. And there's so much pollution nowadays that you would find shoes or flip-flops or 
stuff like that on the beach. Um, other things that um, don't really make sense is, okay, when they're hunting, okay, to properly hunt any animal, you gotta be really quiet. Well, the reason why these people ain't catching most of the things is because there's a filming crew in the back uh, making noise and just being there. There's so many beans that it smells like human. For sure, the people ain't gonna catch anything. You need to be like dressed and camouflaged and quiet in a corner and not too many of you. Usually like two guys in like <laughs> hunting clothes and then they wait for hours. But these people, they ain't got a gun. There's a huge filming crew behind them, all smelling clean because they have access to clean stuff. And not just the smell, but just their presence, their breath and everything. Animals will know there's like six, seven humans in the forest, you know, they ain't gonna come to you. So food wise, these people are just being starved for no reason because if I was alone in the wilderness, I won't smell as much, I won't make as much noise, and I'll have way more chances of catching something because they won't detect me as much as like a whole group of people in the woods. So that's point number three. Um, also weaponry, well, I mean, if we were evolved humans, uh, you know, like, well, we are evolved humans, but I mean, the prehistorical evolved humans, we don't have claws, we don't have like crazy teeth, uh, but we would have weapons passed down to us from like our elders would teach us how to make proper weapons spears and how to hunt so these people have minimal knowledge and are given like no tools maybe sometimes they get machete or something but it's like it's not really hunting tools you know unless it's a net that they, they can use for fishing so i, I find that you know, if you were from a tribe and you were left to your own devices accidentally or something, you would have way more skills to survive and hunt and protect yourself than just two random white people from the Americas dropped in the middle of a jungle and like, good luck to you. Also, pheromones, okay? Pheromones is uh, just like what your body secretes as a smell to determine if you're man, woman, your age, everything. Like dogs, they usually smell their each other's butts for the pheromones. And side note, my dog, she eats only raw meat. And most dogs that meet her, especially the ones that are on kibble, they smell her and her pheromones are so strong that they don't even give her a chance to interact, that they attack her right away. And I know that from a fact, like... I always like say to the owner, be careful, you know, my dog, she smells a little different than other dogs. There might be a conflict, even though you don't expect it. Well, our pheromones, we are civilized people with civilized pheromones. Our diet, you know, uh, the grains we consume, like, you know, the, the sugars we have consumed. All this, when you go out in the nature, will attract the bugs a lot more than a little bush man. Um, I have a country home, okay? And I'll give you for example. The first few days when we come back from the city, we smell all nice like the city. And the bugs, they go after you. They go after you like crazy. And that was the one day that we were there and we invited some friends that lived close to us. Uh, also up north in the, in the wilderness. So they lived there permanently. And I was getting attacked by black flies and horse flies. And the little girl that grew up on that land, she's like, la la la, just walking around in the t-shirt while I was like a full body net, <laughs> you know? So the pheromones, when you come from the city onto a jungle habitat, you know, or a forest habitat, they're, they're way different. So mosquitoes see you as easy prey. So in that sense, for all these four or five points, I haven't counted them, but anyways, <laughs> I find naked and afraid is not realistical. Unless someone deliberately for the show wanted to torture you out in the nature. Like, there's only modern humans that would go through 21 days of pure torture deliberately. Because if you were involved in that environment, you wouldn't suffer nearly as much. Even if you were like a week into it with at least some clothes and some tools and not a filming crew behind you to make noise and smell all funky you would probably survive better than with this whole thing. Um, side note, I heard of two guys that went to Indonesia, I believe, and tried to recreate Naked and Afraid. 
<laughs> and one it's not funny but it's um they did it on their own like freelance and one of them cut his foot with a, with a machete trying to like i don't know cut something and that infected and they uh, paused the whole experience and went to a hospital because yeah but really naked and afraid for civilized city people at least is not realistic not safe no not to be recommended i oftentimes say oh i'd love to go into that show and you know do naked and afraid um i'm pretty civilized and it will take me at least one week prior in the bush to smell like the bush and at least some clothes so i'm i'm a little protected from the elements you know building shelter is the easy part you know as long as it's off ground not with like the sand flies or the termites building shelter is the easy part but uh, the mosquitoes um like the the temperature and uh, the food when there's a filming crew behind you it's not realistic but you can do it on your own not that i'm saying you should do it on your own i'm just saying if that was me and i wanted to like experience for myself i guess i'll just go to my country home and sit there in the bush <laughs> <laughs> all right guys if you're new to the channel don't forget to like and subscribe if you don't like dislike i guess i don't know um and hit the bell button to get my latest notification i make weekly video or videos sometimes i make more than one um about mainly pets aquariums my dog my tortoises but also random vlogs about life and what i think and my, my diet and what i did that week so Pretty interactive and don't forget to leave your comments down below you know because i like to interact with you guys and yeah i guess see you next time goodbye